Welcome to DVCom Technology. In this lab, I'm going to show it to you how to configure WAN interface in Raytech 2962 router. In my previous lab, I have completed task number 1, 2, and 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. So in this lab, I'm going to show it to you how to configure on your WAN interface. Let's go and have a look. So before we start the configuration, I just want to give you some brief introduction about WAN interface. So in my 2962 router, there is port number 1 and port number 2 is belongs to the WAN. So port number 1, what I'm going to do, I'm going to configure 195.229.219.2, which is slash 27 mask. Then I'm going to specify this IP address on my P1 interface. And I'm going to configure gateway as 195.229.219.1. And I'm going to specify the DNS server as 213.42.20.20 and 8.8.8.1. .8 .8 as my secondary DNS. So let's go and access my DTEC router and let's do this WAN configuration. So now Open the router and specify the username is admin and specify the password. Now let's go to the WAN interface and click on the general setup. So as I mentioned to you earlier, there is WAN 1 and WAN 2, which is my P1 and P2 interfaces or belongs to the WAN. So now let's go to the internet access. Now let's go and connect it to the internet connection first. So I have connected on port number one. Then after that, click on the details page. Then here, you can able to see here, either if you want to configure the PPPoE connection, you can able to do that. So some service providers, they are going to provide the IP address through username and password, I mean public IP. So in case if you have internet connection through the PPPoE, then specify the username and password. Make sure that enable the interface and specify the username and password. But here I have a static public IP. So now what I'm going to do now, I'm going to specify that IP address. So see here, it got it IP address automatically from my service provider. But I'm going to specify as a dynamic. So I'm going to give you 195.229.219.2 and the gateway is same, 195.229.219.1. And my primary DNS server is 213.42.20.20. And I want to give secondary as 8.8.8. .8. Then after that, you can just go down and say OK. Now click OK now. So my router is going to reboot now and it's going to come back in few seconds. Now there you go. I have a successful reachable I'm sorry I need to ping 192.168.10.1 yeah now if you see here I have come back again and enter the username is admin and type the password then after that click on login now your WAN interface is connected now and one thing I forgot to show it to you guys did you remember initially I changed my date and time but the date and time has not synchronized properly now I have connected to the internet. That's why I'm going to show it to you the date and time. Just go to the system maintenance. Then after that, click on time and date. Now you just say inquire. Then after that, you can see here, right now it's showing the proper date and time, guys. It's a number 15, Sunday at midnight 12. Then it belongs to Abu Dhabi Muscat. And time server is pool.ntp.org. Now I can able to see proper date and time. Now if you go and see here in the dashboard, you can able to see there the current time. Okay guys, so this is what how it's going to. Now I need to check whether I'm able to access the internet or not. So now let's try here IP config. Now if you see here, I got the IP address as 192.168.10.10 and 10.1 uh, is my gateway. Now I'm going to check whether I can able to get the internet or not. Ping 4.2.2. .2. So 
so I have a successful reachability in case if I try to ping www.google.com I can able to do that so now what I'm going to do I'm going to show it to you my routing table so now let's go to the diagnostics then click on the routing table then you can able to see at the routing table of your router so right now there is a default route as injected in my routing table and which is pointing to my gateway so now what I'm going to do now I am trying to connect my PC into VLAN number 20 and let's see whether I can able to get the internet or not. So before that, let's keep continuous ping. Okay. Then after that, I just want to show it to you the disconnection so that you guys very, very much clear what I am doing here. Yeah. So now this is my LAN interface. Be focused on this. So right now the IP address is 10.10 so which means I am in VLAN number 10 so remove this PC see now I have removed it anyway I am going to disconnect my wireless as well so that we will not find any issues now if you see you guys after disconnect nothing is there again I am going to show it to you the verification so let's go and connect my PC into VLAN number 10 first of all see I am getting the internet Verify the IP address, click on the details and see here I got the IP address is 192.168.10.10 and this is my 10.1 and I can able to see internet access. Okay guys, now I am going to disconnect. Now I disconnected. Now I am going to connect my PC into VLAN number 20. Now I got the internet very quick guys, see how very fast. Now just go and check the IP address as well. Then see the IP address, it got it from VLAN number 20. And this is my DNS and this is my secondary DNS. Now what I'm going to do now, I'm going to disconnect my PC and this time I'm going to connect into VLAN number 30. So just verify it now. So I have connected into VLAN number 30. Now, very quick guys, see that. Just go to the detail space. Now I am into VLAN number 30. So this is the way how I use going to terminate the internet connection on my Dretech router. And this is my verification. Hope you are enjoying my videos. Thanks for watching. For sales, please send us an email. Sales at datawise.com. Please don't forget to subscribe my YouTube channel which is DBcom.